In this video, I'm going to share with you the secret to exporting your videos in high quality in Premiere Pro 2020. Stick around. Tyler here from Video Editing with Tyler White, and if you want to learn how to edit video like a pro, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. Once I have Premiere Pro open up, I'm going to first go up to File, New, Sequence, and then I'm going to go down to Digital SLR, and then drop down to 1080p, and then I'm going to select 1080p 24 frames per second because I shot this video at 24 frames per second. If you shot your video at a different frame rate, that's easy. You can just change it to whatever one is associated with your videos. I'm then going to go down to OK, and then I'm going to drag my footage down onto my timeline. And for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and say that this video has been completely edited and I'm now ready to export. So I'm going to first go to the beginning of my video and I'm going to press I on the keyboard for in. And then I'm going to go to the end of my video and press O on the keyboard for out. And then next, I'm going to go up to File, Export, Media. And then I'm going to first start off by changing format to H.264. And I'm then change my preset to custom. Next, I'll go down here to output name and I'm going to click on this. And this is where I'm going to save my video. So I'm just going to name it whatever I want to name it. And I'm just going to click save wherever I want to save that video at. And then next, I want to make sure that I check export video and export audio. Because if you don't, one of the two may or may not be inside of the video whenever you export. So make sure that these are checked. I'll next go down here to my basic video settings. I'm going to make sure that it's set to 1920 by 1080. And then I'm going to go down to the frame rate. I want to make sure that it matches the frame rate of what I shot my video at and what my sequence actually is. Field order should be set to progressive and aspect ratio or aspect should be set to square pixels 1.0. I'm then going to check render at maximum depth. Then I'm going to go down to the encoding settings and make sure that performance is at hardware encoding. And then I want to uncheck this and then change profile to high and then uncheck level and change the level to 4.2. And then I'm going to keep scrolling down, then come up to the bitrate settings and the bitrate settings are really what's going to affect your quality. I'll first start off with the bitrate coding being at VBR one pass and then having the target bitrate at 10. VBR one pass is considered a low quality but is actually still a pretty good quality and it can be used for your videos I've, I've used it before in the past and I think that it's okay it's not terrible but it's something that you can use keep in mind that bitrate settings are really going to affect what your file size is going to be and how long the render process is actually going to be as well so right now you can see your estimated file size is at four megabytes this could be something that you could use if you are in a hurry or in a pinch and you need to get your video out to a client or wh whoever you're sending your video to or how maybe you're uploading it to youtube the highest way or the best way to export your video at the highest quality is going to be by changing the bitrate encoding to cbr and then you're going to change the target bitrate to 40. This is going to give you that perfect quality, the quality that's going to look the best. Let's say you're providing it to a client, whatever you're doing, you want to have, make sure that you have the best quality. You want to make sure that you have these settings. But the only downside to this is that now the estimated file size is increased significantly. So that is the downside. It is a little bit longer of an export process, but if you have a really fast computer, this isn't a problem at all. The next one is my secret. This is my secret, VBR2 pass. And change the target bit rate to 15. And you can see that the estimated file size is, was at 16 megabytes. But when I change this to 15, it drops all the way down to six megabytes. This quality looks really good. And when uploaded to YouTube, you can hardly tell the difference between CBR and this quality here. But once you've decided what you want your bit rate encoding to be, you're gonna go down to where it says use maximum render quality. And I want you to check this box here and then you're going to go over to where the audio tab is located and we're going to now adjust our audio settings. So audio format settings should always be set to AAC and then scroll down. The basic settings for audio codec is AAC. Sample rate is 48,000 Hertz. Channel should be set, set to stereo. Audio quality is going to always be set to high. Then your bitrate settings are going to be set to 320 and then advanced settings for precedence. Just keep that at bitrate. And then the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and I'm going to click on save preset and I'm going to title this whatever I want. And then press OK. And just click export. 
Continue to perfect your skills by checking out this video. Edit like a pro by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. I'll see you in the next video.